Pokemon is undeniably one of the greats when it comes to video game franchises. While there have been generations and generations of unique Pokemon released over the last decade, a lot of fans who adored the first 150 sometimes find it difficult to dive into newer adventures, even if they're hungry for a new Pokemon game to play. If you're one of those people, if you're not, there is a solution out there for you. Not a necessarily legal solution though. Pokemon Fan Games We recently did two lists on Sonic fan made games that managed to capture the same spirit and essence of the original Genesis classics, and some that parody the franchise. So we felt it was only right for us to take a look at Pokemon that way too. Except there are no parodies here friends, because it's so loved and not Sonic. So with that in mind, let's jump into our list of the top 10 Pokemon fan games. And at number 10, Planet Pokemon. Starting off this list is a take on a Pokemon game that fans have been craving for years, an MMORPG called Planet Pokemon. This game, which has had some development struggles over the years, feels a little like a work in progress, but the concept alone makes it quite compelling. Graphic wise, it's in pretty good shape, plus it's free to play and lets players chase the same dreams they chased in the original games, to become the very best Pokemon trainer that ever was. You can catch, train, and evolve your Pokemon, explore new areas, and even make new friends to boot. Real ones, like actual other humans. Up next, number 9, Pokemon Adventure. Ever wish that you could play as Pikachu instead of Red? Yeah, probably not a desire of most Pokemon players out there, but turns out there is a ROM that satisfies that craving in the form of Pokemon Adventure. This game doesn't pull a lot from the original games though. Instead, it's a ROM hack on Sonic Adventure 7, you can't escape Sonic on this channel, which explains why Pikachu can spin dash, why you collect Pokeballs, which are kind of the same shape as rings, and why your enemies don't really resemble other Pokemon overly well. Regardless, it's a very interesting experience and plays as a platformer for those who want something different than the traditional RPG style Pokemon game. Up next to date, Pokemon Insurgents. Insurgents has one of the biggest communities of players when it comes to fan made Pokemon games. Borrowing many of the assets from the original games, it manages to have an air of authenticity, which is what appeals to a lot of its fans. What also makes it interesting though is that its narrative boldly goes where real Pokemon games haven't really gone before, outside of PG territory that is. It involves experimentation on Pokemon and a cult. Players can play God with Pokemon DNA in order to create new species. Plus, also worth noting, the overall design is pretty slick. And hey, sometimes you just want to play a pretty game. And at number 7, Type Wild. Moving away from the norm of modified ROM games, let's take a look at a Pokemon game that falls into a different genre, fighting game. Pokemon Type Wild is a 2D fighting game that feels a lot like Street Fighter, except with Pokemon. Although its graphics aren't the smoothest, its animation does pull a lot from the Pokemon anime, with the option to play single battle or versus battle with a friend. While it may not have the sleekness of Pokin, you know, the official Pokemon fighting game, it does have some bite to it, and still makes for one hell of a good time. And at number 6, Pokemon 3D. Another fan made game veering away from the norm, Pokemon 3D drops you smack dab in the world of Pokemon, literally. Based on Pokemon Gold and Silver, you can navigate your Pokemon adventure in a 3D environment. You can choose between various different avatars, and play in first person or third person, which is really cool. If you're like me and have been playing Pokemon since you were young, it'll probably feel like you've been transported right into the game. It's super trippy, but fun as hell. And at 5, Pokemon Prism. Featuring 252 Pokemon from the first 4 generations, plus new TMs, which is like, really awesome, Prism allows allows the player to jump out of their trainer shoes and play as their Pokemon, at various points in the game though. You also play as the son or daughter of Lance, you know the dragon type champion from the Indigo League, so that's also really really cool. A lot of different developers contributed to this game, including the Twitch Plays Pokemon development team, which made Prism pretty hyped up. But unfortunately Nintendo sent the creators a cease and desist letter a few days prior to the game dropping. Despite this, a fully functional version of the game has been leaked, via 4chan. Next up at 4, Pokemon Uranium. Made with RPG Maker XP. Uranium is a ROM that took 9 years to develop, and features over 150 fan made new Pokemon that you can catch and train, plus a new region. Fans have praised its story, the new abilities it's given the Pokemon within it, and its interesting NPCs. The game was even nominated for Best Fan Creation Award at the Game Awards in 2016. Despite all of this, the developers took the game down after 1.5 million users downloaded it, stating that they wanted to respect Nintendo's wishes after they received multiple DMCA takedown notices from Nintendo's lawyers. In our number 3 spot, Pokemon Ash Gray. Major fan favorite, Ash Gray combines Pokemon Fire Red and the anime, all to give you a game that lets you play through an almost identical journey as Ash Ketchum, even right down to Ash's outfits. And of course, your starting Pokemon is none other than Pikachu. You guys have to go through the same trials and tribulations the duo had together at the start of the very first season of the Pokemon show. Ha! Nerding out a little bit here. 
Anyone who grew up and adored the anime will absolutely love this version of the game, and probably get quite the good chuckle out of it too. And at number 2, Pokemon Godra. Godra is a fan made game that really stands out of the crowd. It gives players the opportunity to build themselves as trainers, but not just solely by focusing on your Pokemon. Your trainer life outside of gym battles matters in this game too, and you're given the opportunity to choose between various career paths, including war party leader, a military general, and this one's super cool, a safari zone warden. How neat is that? Of course, the game includes a lot of other aspects that modified ROM versions of the Pokemon games contain, including multiple generations of Pokemon and familiar plot points. But it also adds a whole eastern and western portion to the game's map, all of which contains new quests and narratives for players to dive into. And last but not least, in at number 1, Pokemon Glazed. Pokemon Glazed is one of the more polished ROMs out there. Not only does it not glitch out like crazy like some of the other modified ROMs available, it also has content constantly added to it with updates, which is what has allowed for continued interest in the game to flourish. So aside from its mechanics, what does Glazed offer? It contains multiple regions along with a brand new one featuring a unique story. It has the first 5 generations of Pokemon. You have 5 starter Pokemon you can choose from, with the ability to eventually catch all the starters as you progress in the game. Plus, you can battle gym leaders again once you've defeated them. Along with that, you can even purchase a physical copy of it online if you really want to. Made with custom firmware, that is. Alright, that's that. Now we know that we didn't touch on a lot of fan favorites, so if you guys want us to do a part 2 of this list, please let us know in those comments below. While you're at it, please spread the love and hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to hang out with us some more. And feel free to check out our other gaming videos if you want more Pokemon in your life. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I've been Kelly Pally, and this has been Top 10 Gaming. Catch you all in the next one. Thank you.